Hey guys, it's me, the Trayman himself, and I am a back for another video. And in today's video, we will be going over the RPG server that I've been planning to do for months. But before we get into any of that, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss a single video. So, the first step in the process of creating this RPG was me creating the Magicules, Evolution Level, and Health UI. It, the player will be able to adjust depending on their device, and just the size of their screen. On top of this, I've been creating abilities like Leaf Slice, Water Slice, Punch, and Scythe, while also creating attacks that can adapt to the user's environment, like the Water Ripple. Um, and it's really useful for specific different combats. The Punch is useful for fighting off hordes of mobs, while Water Slice is the same, but it makes the mobs fly away. On top of that, Leaf Slice has the same exact property as that, but just does less damage and moves faster, but goes for less range. So all of these abilities are situation per situation, but of course, some abilities are reflectant of the player's strength. There's a strength skill, which the player will be able to level up and will be able to use to, to their full advantage with specific abilities, which would allow them to attack with more damage. With punch, for example, depending on the user's strength, they may be able to do 40 damage three times because the punch releases three different fists and kind of reflects all of the user's strength, therefore can do more damage than any other types of magic that just have a set damage. So there's beginner magic, which is quote unquote core magic, that's what I called it, and core magic is the basic elemental magics that the user will have. But the user will only have one type of core magic, or at least that's the goal. So, and then probably the most useful for inside of a cave would be Water Ripple, because what Water Ripple does is it adapts to the user's environment and makes it so that it goes under blocks, around blocks, and it harms any mob that touches glass as long as the mob isn't tamed. That's also a goal of this RPG to make tameable mobs like zombies and skeletons and all that. Maybe not those because they also have served different purposes and have different lore behind them. And yeah, all the evolution levels just level up the user's health, strength, and magicules. And magicules is basically mana, but just different. The scythe basically has a mind of its own, but it comes back to the player and even returns the item to the player who threw it. So basically, it will partially return to the player. It's kind of hard to explain how that works, but it's pretty cool. And so all of these abilities all serve their own purposes and all can deal different amounts of damage. So yeah, I think that's about it. And enjoy the gameplay footage of the rest of the abilities.